It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 27th of May. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will feature a risk of a few scattered showers and thunderstorms today and tomorrow, and then a very refreshing air mass sets in here over the upcoming holiday weekend. Here's the upper air look across the country early this morning. As this day begins, that upper high that's been parked across the region continues to weaken. And that's going to open the door for a few scattered showers. In fact, early this morning, kind of a cluster of rogue showers over Tuscaloosa County to start the day. Otherwise, the southeastern states is dry. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s. Tuscaloosa 70, Birmingham 71, highs in the 80s today. There's a dense fog advisory north of the state, parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. Got a severe thunderstorm watch around Kansas City. And up north, we have a freeze watch for parts of North Dakota, Minnesota, and South Dakota. How about that for late May? Active thunderstorms again today, mainly north and west Alabama. An enhanced risk of severe storms from uh, parts of west Texas through much of Oklahoma into southern Missouri. And then tomorrow, got a risk of severe storms from Texas to the Middle Atlantic Coast region. In Alabama, a low-end marginal risk, basically along and north of Interstate 59 for any storms that form tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. The main threat coming from gusty winds and small hail. And then day three on Saturday, marginal risks well to the east and west of here. We get into a very dry air mass over the holiday weekend. Rain for the next seven days. Again, the big numbers... Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Alabama. The totals generally under one half inch for most of the state. And the tropics remain quiet. The official beginning of the season for the Atlantic Basin is Tuesday. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid today at 4. Again, the ridge continues to get beat down, down below that. We'll say partly sunny today with a few scattered showers around this afternoon. That's the high-res NAM at 5 o'clock, and of course the radar will not look exactly like that, but there'll be a few scattered showers about. Tomorrow a cold front pushes in here. Come on now, that'll bring maybe a little better coverage of scattered storms. That's the high res NAM at 6 o'clock, and again where the storms do form, they could pack a punch with gusty winds, thunder, lightning, maybe some small hail. And then Saturday we get into very dry air and cooler air. Numbers keep coming down. Highs in the 70s for the northern half of the state. With a good northwest breeze, humidity values come down. This is Sunday, Sunday morning. We could see some 40s in scattered pockets early in the day for the northern part of the state. Beautiful day, the high Sunday in the upper 70s. Just glorious. And Monday, Memorial Day, nothing but sunshine. Highs getting back in the 80s. Tuesday, moisture begins to return. There could be a few isolated showers, and then a better chance of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday with the approach of a trough and there's a look at that trough on Thursday, a week from today. Very impressive, long-wave trough, and again, showers and thunderstorms seem likely over the latter half of next week. So the good news, we indeed are getting a pattern change with the uh, upper high being replaced by a uh, mean trough off to the west, which will mean cooler temperatures and, again, a better chance of rain and thunderstorms for the uh, latter half of next week. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, June 5th, again, troughing to the west, and again, we'll have a chance of showers and thunderstorms if this verifies. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean between 2 and 3 inches between now and the 10th of June. And look at those numbers coming down. Uh, the National Blend of Models now showing a high of 77 in Birmingham on Saturday. It's got 53 on Sunday, and no doubt some of the colder pockets go in the 40s. And then highs go back in the 80s next week. And the CPC outlook June 3rd through June 9th. Temperatures around here at or maybe a bit below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms, and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. 
And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.